Hey, but uh, hopefully we will be uh, well entertained. It, it goes on. I just start talking. It looks, boy, that picture looks a little odd today. Yeah, I don't think we're, it's on. It's on. It's on. Is our dial moving? Yeah. Okay. As, as long as the the colors are, right? it, it should go to green. Yeah. That, okay, we're all good. Um, yeah, you set all this up today. I didn't. So. Oh yeah, not on me. It's okay. No, no, I, I, I got Rod I, I was, I was beginning to go. Well, did, I, did we? Did I put the speaker in? I, th I, I was like, I didn't recall put the speaker in. So it was like, uh, how did this happen? Well, Jack did. Um, I typed in the. Lessons. It's okay. It's called microphone. It's all right. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, some of those who are not with us as normal are tuning in, maybe live or um, maybe at some other juncture. Uh, we know some of you watch this not live, but you watch it in preparation for your worship on Sunday. And that's that's, good, that's good. the reason why we do this is, you know, you either get it live or get it later. I know Lisa, when she goes on her hike, she looks at it later. Um, but she's here today. Yay. Uh, so, um, yeah, you will see on the notes the order we're taking. So let's begin with the word of prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we give you thanks. Uh, as, as we continue this uh, season and the Sundays after Pentecost, we see how we live it out as the church, as we heard last Sunday about you calling us your, your treasured possession. And it's based purely on who you are and all that you do for us. And again, as we hear today, it's all that you give to us by which we are fed and nourished uh, for living out that faith. So uh, continue as uh, you do to be abundant in that grace and mercy so that we may be abundant in the sharing of it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. And the abundance of sharing of it comes a little bit in the gospel, but a lot more in the Isaiah text. What are you preaching on? Isaiah. Isaiah, Isaiah 55. Yeah. I was going to preach on the song. And then I was like, yeah. <clears throat> when we get to the song, you'll understand why. Um, it, it's very repetitive. Um, so, so we are starting in Romans. You didn't like the fit with Romans, did you? The bit comes at the end. I, I will tell you that. The fit comes at the end. We'll see. I, I mean, yeah. But it, well, think about it. I know, but the psalm, the end of the psalm, led right into Matthew. Think about, think about the story of Jacob and Esau. I know. Edom and uh, Israel. But think about the story of, what, what was the whole thing over? The birthrights. What, yeah, but what was the whole thing over? How was that birthright exchanged? Deception. No. God's plan. A bowl of soup. A bowl of soup. <laughs> eating. Rental stew. Yep. It was a bowl of soup. It was about eating. Oh, by the way, guess what? There's a lot of eating in these passages. Am I right? You're giving it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm reading it because you said you wanted to read the song. Yeah. Yep. So uh, Romans 9, 1 through 13. I am speaking the truth in Christ. I am not lying. My conscience bears me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were cursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my brothers, my kinsmen according to the flesh. They are Israelites and to them belong the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship and the promises. To them belong the patriarchs, and from their race, according to the flesh, is the Christ who is God over all, blessed forever. Amen. But it is not as though the word of God has failed. For not all who are descended from Israel belong to Israel, not all are children of Abraham because they are his offspring, but through Isaac shall your offspring be named. 
This means that it is not the children of the flesh who are the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted as offspring. For this is what the promise said. About this time next year, I will return and Sarah shall have a son. And not only so, but also when Rebecca has conceived children by one man, our forefather Isaac, though they were not yet born and had done nothing either good or bad, in order that God's purpose of election might continue, not because of works, but because of him who calls. She was told the older will serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob I loved, but Esau I hated. Well, and, and one thing I noticed at the, at the beginning is, is the progression there. You know, before, before he gets to what, he, what is causing him the angst, he says, I'm speaking the truth. Right. Where does speaking the truth come out of? Well, it's out of your mouth. But out of your mouth. Yep, yeah, what he's you, using the Holy Spirit. Right, right, right. Well, wait, because speaking out of the mouth in Christ. So right. then the next step, I'm not lying. My conscience bears me witness. Typically, conscience is coming from the brain, from the mind. Okay. So from the mouth to the mind, uh, and that, that, so the conscious is, and, and we've had this on our Monday, uh, Pastor in a Pint talking about conscience, and we said that really for us as believers, that, that conscience, that thing of conscience is the Holy Spirit moving us. Okay, so, so it goes from mouth to mind. What does it finally hit? The heart. Notice that I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart. So, so here is something that he is... And, and he feels he, it. He, 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 it. Spe he speaks it, and you might even put the ears with that. Speaking and hearing. So it goes from speaking to hearing, to head, to heart. Mm -hmm. And the anguish in his heart is, I've got these people who, who have heard this like I've heard this, and they've rejected it. Well, that's, and that's the, I mean, well, he calls him what? Brother, my kinsman. Right. I mean, it's his, it's his fellow Jews. Correct. He, he's he been with them. He's walked with them. He's learned with them. He knows them personally. And he knows, and he knows what it is to reject the message. Right. I mean, he's got to be totally frustrated besides being pain in the heart. And, 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 and Luther, and Luther toward the end of his life felt the same way about the Jews. He was totally frustrated. Just, what do you do? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and again, he, he gives the laundry list of, 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 you know, his anguish is, hey, they've got everything. They've got the adop adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, the promises. To them belong the patriarchs. Right. So they have the heritage. Yeah. They've got all these things. And they don't see it. Right. They're throwing it away. Right. And, 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 and yeah, and then ultimately he says the last thing they're throwing away is, uh, uh, and from their race is the Christ who is God. Right. So, so you got all these things they're throwing away. Oh, and by the way, yes, and they're throwing away Christ. Yeah, but see, and, and then, well, what I like is in verse six, but it is not as though the word of God had failed. Okay, right. God's word did not fail. Mm -hmm. But we have to go back to the earlier chapters and verses in Romans where we talked about the foreknowledge of God right. and the predestination of those in, who, who in Christ. You know, and, and so God's word didn't fail. Right. It's their rejection. God's word did not fail because Christ still died for all. Right. It's not that, oh, yeah, here's the people of God and now they're not the people of God because they chose to reject that's not where the, God's work, that's not where the predestination, as I've said before, predestination sets in Jesus, right. not in us. Not in us. And then the other fact is, okay, so they have rejected. God's word is not going to fail. Right. Because there will be condemnation, and that's part of God's word also. Correct. Salvation and condemnation. All, 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 all well, and, and that's law gospel. That, yeah. that's, that's what we preach. Right. That's what we preach is law gospel, because... We've got to be convicted that we're sinners, that we need a savior, because too often we get into that that mood. Well, I I preached last Sunday. We get in that mood that oh, God loves me because of, 
And fill in the blank. Fill in, what, fill in whatever blank you want to. I know he loves me because he gave me a good wife, a good family. I've got an orange truck, so I know God loves me, right? And no hair. And no hair. And I don't have to maintain anything. <laughs> you don't have to buy a lot of hair product. <laughs> or, or have many haircuts. <laughs> I don't buy shampoo either. <laughs> Stuff and we, well, well, and, and yeah, those are the blessings that God gives us. Yeah, yeah but I, but I think I, I, I think Paul says basically, no, those aren't the blessings. Here are the blessings. Here are the blessings. Here's the real blessings. Here are it's, the blessings. It's God's word, what He does. Right. You'd rather have the orange truck and the good wife and the oh. rich crops, and you'd rather have those things, and you're throwing away the thing that gives life. Gives life. Yeah. Yeah. And then ultimately he says, it's not about being born into it. It's not being about children of the flesh. It's being about children of the problem. Right. Yeah. It also it brings out Israel. Not, Israel is not the chosen nation. I love that where it says, neither are all, or, um, because not all who descended from Israel are Israel. Right, like, right. Not all, not a, yeah. right? Because it goes to Jacob. And don't just say, well, because I'm Abraham's, Abraham's born, born, you know, or his offspring, I'm one of the chosen. Well, no, you're not. And that, uh, it's not the children by physical descent who are God's children. And that's children why God's. American politics is all messed up with their relationship with Israel, Israel. Because, because they see the nation of Israel. And, and this comes out of the evangelical church Right. The nation of Israel, they see, is God's chosen people, and, and God will restore the nation of Israel, and then he will come. And it has, we are the nation of Israel. Right. And, and, and Sally, you're right. You know, we are, we are the nation of Israel. And, and, that, and that's why I said Sunday is it's not about a political or a governmental entity. Yeah, if we were, if it was just the... That heritage came through the children of Abraham, then what of his first son? How is that? Abraham's first son was what? And he and Hagar. And Hagar. Right. Who was his name? I forget his name. like in front of like Hagar's son. Illegitimate son. The Edom. The Edomite. Of course. See, hello. Him. Of whom the Muslim race is. Right, 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 exactly. right, 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 right. Well, and and and, and again, and, and that's and that's really the rough. That's the Genesis now. <laughs> that that's really the rough part at this, you know, in this text is what do you do with verse thirteen? Because that 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 what you guys are talking about really gets to the crux right. of of how do you treat verse thirteen. As it is written, Jacob I loved, but Esau I hated. Because when you know the story of you know of, of that whole thing, the whole deal. I mean, you know it, it, it's, it's Esau gave it up for his for, for his life. He he gave, and that's what I told you about this other stuff. They gave up what is more important. He gave up what is more important for a bowl of soup. Right. He 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 gave up his birthright, which was everything for them. He must be um, really hungry. <laughs> I always think that. This is really good soup, man. He was because because he he was he was the 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 one that went out because wasn't Jake? Well, Jacob was a mama's boy, um, and and he was he was the one that did all the work in the fields, and so he 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 probably was very hungry. But but the thing. But again, don't let Jacob off the hook either. Right. Jacob yeah, was part of the deception. <laughs> right. I right. Mean, you know, he agreed with his mother to do whatever. Right. Yeah. right. So, so again, I think it reminds us that, oh, God doesn't always work the way we think he should work. Be because according to I tradition... <laughs> <laughs> According to tradition, Esau should have got the birthright, and and God could have even still allowed him to have the birthright, Be, because 
what Jacob did was was wrong, and, and so God could have switched that up. Switched yeah. that up, but He didn't, and and so that's that's why we you know sometimes we have to look at God and go, man, that's not. And that was last week's. You are a peculiar people. Jacob was a peculiar person. He was sinful, but God chose him anyway. God chose chose Israel anyway. God chose the Gentiles anyway. God chose you and me anyway, because it's about God. So as it is written, Jacob, I love it. He's, and and you, did you watch the video on this one? Mm -hmm. They they said uh, the word hated can also be and and they 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 preferred the other translation. You could either call it Esau I disfavored or Esau I disregarded. Disregarded. Oh, I like that. That sounds so much better. It makes a little bit more. It makes a little bit more. And they love disfavored because that, that's really what he did. Right. He he disfavored him. He took the favor away and gave it to Jacob. And if you also, if you look, if you go back into this and look at it, it doesn't necessarily mean hate as we just see, as we see hate. It means love less. Mm -hmm. It also means that as well. So where that falls in here, I, I don't know. I, I, I would say love taken away. Yeah. It's love taken away. Yeah. And, and, that, and, that, and didn't he do that? You know, in this text, he said, I took away my love to Israel. Right. Because they chose to give it away. Mm -hmm. yeah, just, like, just like Esau did. Uh, but he continues to love. He, conti he continues to call us. Anything else? No, that's good. Okay, anybody? Uh, okay. <clears throat> Jack's going to read the psalm, and he's going to do it in the King James Version. Yeah. Even, even though I received uh, wow. a lot of feedback when I read my yeah. other version. Constructive well. criticism. <laughs> constructive criticism and the reason I'm doing that is because the difference between the verses in ESB where it talks about his love endureth forever and the King James uses his mercy endureth forever and if you go back to the Hebrew it's it's Kassad it's Kassad Kassad steadfast is, love stead that's what it's translated here. Well, that's what Cassid well, is. But Cassid is mercy. It's translated mercy. And we want to translate it to love. And actually, in, oh, I don't remember when it was. Um, it was actually called something else as well. But anyway, there's a difference between love and mercy to me. Yep. God's love is love. Don't forget the word steadfast. Ste steadfast is a key in that right. word kesed. Right. Uh, because there's, a, as, as we know from the Greek, but we also, there are different weight forms right. of love in the right. Hebrew too. So this kesed love is, is but, but, very unique. Right. So anyway. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him alone that who doth great works, his mercy endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that made great lights, for his mercy endureth forever. The sun to rule by day, his mercy endureth forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endureth forever. And then we jump to verse 23. Who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endureth forever. And hath redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever. Who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. I'll give thanks unto the God of heaven for his mercy endureth forever. So what does mercy mean? We'll see. Not mercy me. Mercy. Mercy mean. Mercy is God's <laughs> kindness. It's more than that. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm getting there. Okay. He's doing it again. 
it, you know, in, in God's kindness, it's what he does for us, how he treats us, how he lets us go our way, but yet still directs us with, with his rod and his staff, if you would, to keep us on the right path. I mean, that, that's God's patience, kindness, his, his forbearance with us, that he just doesn't, you know, or not a pawn on a chest, on a chest board. Okay. So that's, and, and I would add a little bit more to that because again, uh, to show the difference between two kinds of love, grace and mercy. Great, grace is God giving us what we don't deserve. Yeah. And mercy is God not giving us what we do deserve. Absolutely. I have a biblical dictionary. Yeah. App. Mm -hmm. Okay. A definition for mercy. Okay. Comparison for the miserable, its object is misery. By the atoning sacrifice of Christ, a way is open for the exercise of mercy towards the sons of men right. in harmony with the demands of truth and righteousness. There you go. And so he's given, you know, all, all of these things just goes way beyond, you know, we shouldn't get them. We shouldn't get them. Right. Uh, we, we deserve other things. <laughs> but we, we deserve the stars to fall down from the heavens upon us <laughs> and crush us. Uh, yeah, yeah. But just to hit a little bit more on the translation differences, um, one of the scholars back in 1927, his name is Nelson Buach, if you ever heard of him. He well, tried, did you, did you meet him? Well, <laughs> anyway, he tried to redefine the, the, the word uh, cassette. I guess that's how you say it. Cassid. 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 As, as, as covenant love. Right. Correct. And, and, Correct. And, and that, that failed. That, it, in a sense it is, but it's not exclusively. You know, God has a covenant with his people. Right. And, and, and his love and his mercy. But and, and, Well, and, 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 and the way he's trying to capture it is, and, and that's where, why I, I, I emphasize that word steadfast, it doesn't waver. It's an unwavering love. It, 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 it's not. It's not like the typical love we show one another. Is some days we show more love than others. Some days we're like we're in a mood and we're like, forget well, that. Yesterday, or, today, or, tomorrow. Right. It 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 never wait. It never fails. It's never a. It's never a little bit more or a little bit less. And as we'll find out, it's always abundant. You know, it it, it, it it doesn't come some and, and that's the way that the world looks at it is, you know, if God truly is love, why are these bad things happening? God still is, he stead, his love doesn't waver. It's steadfast. Um, and, some, and, and sometimes we, we end up figuring out why those things happen. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we have no earthly clue. Even after after years of them happening, we still have no earthly clue why they happened. But they happened, and oh yeah, by the way, um, didn't God see us through it? Always. Yep. Always. Yep. Yeah, it, it's interesting where where he spends. Yeah, and again, uh, they they cut out some verses here, and and the verses really speak toward his steadfast love for Israel. Right. Which feeds into, you know, the Romans passages, you know, God, God continued to do these things for you and, and you still, still you still chose to reject right. it. And, and, and so that's, so we're missing that section of the song. Uh, right. but, it, but it goes from his, him being the creator God. We get that whole emphasis of the creator God. Then really the second part of it, thir uh, 23 to 26, is the God, the God who comes to us. So, so this is the big God, the big God way out there. But then it comes, it comes down here. Well, that's where it starts in the first three verses. You know, the Lord, you know, the God of gods, and then you get the Lord, the Lord, you know, lowercase, capital, lowercase. 
authority, which we go to from Jehovah to Elohim to Adonai, which is- I knew he was gonna get into the names the, of God. The, the <laughs> self, you know, we start off with the self-existence name of God, uh, you know, then, then, uh, then the God, of, uh, you know, give thanks to the God of gods, which is the Elohim, the supreme God, right. and then the Lord, the Adonai, the sovereign. In other words, and the only reason I get into it was not because what you said in the office yesterday, but because <laughs> I, told, I told him he can get into the names. He always does. <laughs> it isolates this God from any other right. God. Right. In other words, it's the real God. Yeah. It's the one and only true God. Right. Well, which is always interesting when he's the God of gods, but there are no other gods. There is no other <laughs> gods, right? I mean. <laughs> But I also like the part that it's the Trinity. Uh -huh. You know, it's it's three definitions of yeah, God. Right. You know, it's, but I I wouldn't. Oh, well, it's not the Trinity, uh, but it's it's the three. It, 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 it's 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 using three different names. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I, well, we want to make sure we are like clear that, on that. I like that number three. Right. 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 Yeah. It, it's that complete number. Right. It, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did want people to think that oh, one of these is no, 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 the no, Father, no. one's the Son, one's no, the Holy no. Spirit. No, 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 no. No, no, they're all no. the Father, Son, and Holy right, Spirit. Right, right, right. So, which, yeah. which is the completeness of God. Right. So you, know, you got that going on. You know, and then, then when we get into later verses 4 through 9, you know, it, it's talking about, you know, what he has done, his great wonders and his great works. You know, what he has done. You know, we're instructed to give thanks. And then, well, why do we give thanks? Because everything he's done for us. He remembered us because of how good we are and all the good things we do. Sure. Uh, uh, no, he remembered, put a little bit. He, <laughs> he, rem he remembered us in our lowest in state. In our lowest state, you know. And that's, and that's what we get into the last few verses is, you know, our lowest state, you know. He's talking about the people that salvation from Egypt, people now, salvation from sin. Oh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's taking us in our lowest state. He has redeemed us from our enemies. Who's our enemy? Satan. Sin. You know, so, a, a, you know, while you're talking, a thought popped in my head is how we as Christians, how often do we look down on other people groups? whether they be cultural, whether they be ethnic, um, you know, and, and the reality. Well, their ideals. Right. We look down on them, and, and, and it's like, oh, we don't, we don't see ourselves as being in low estate. We're still in low estate. We are. We are. We're still in. And, 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 oh, you mean you don't sin every day? With, that hard with, 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 with start, every breath, <laughs> start, start start putting it closer. Make it every hour, um, <laughs> every moment. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I I might make it through a moment. I might make it through a moment. Try to get through the Lord's prayer without going off on a thought. It's it's well it's difficult. Going off on a thought isn't a, isn't a sin. Well, if you're, if you're go, go, prayer, go, going you off, going off, yeah, but no, no, but maybe it's a godly distraction. Now, if you're going off on to thinking about, oh, I wonder what I'm going to order for lunch today. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and or in a fellowship <laughs> with the church as you're reciting the Lord's Prayer. Oh, that cologne is really strong. <laughs> <You know? laughs> or, 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 yeah, and we had a discussion about one, that, you know, the other day too, about you know sometimes we get distracted by other people and how they're singing or how they're reading or you know, yeah, yeah, you know, and and, and again that that's who, who, whose problem is that? Well, it's my problem. Exactly. Yeah, but... Right, and and I and I think that's what I want to emphasize here is I, I think too often we get that that sense of you know okay we're saved. Now, now we're a little bit more special than the other person. I'm God's treasured possession. So what are you? Well, well if I'm saved, I got it right. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. And it's like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. 
drop a bomb on that. And, and again, it points back, and, and, and that's the need for the repetition here, is his steadfast love uh, or mercy. his mercy <laughs> endureth forever. Uh, uh, I mean, to me, love and mercy are two different things. And yes, I understand. Steadfast love. Steadfast love. Yes, yeah, steadfast love. He loves me in spite of myself. Right. His steadfast mercy. He's kind to me in spite of myself. Right. His actions. And and you and you have to repeat that because how often do we forget that? Yeah. It, it, it's not it's not his steadfast love endures because of me. His steadfast love endures because of him. Yeah. That's yeah exactly. It's who he is. It's right. Not, it's not who I am. Right. I do this. He does this. I do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> uh, right. I, have lost, get... I have a lot of squirrels in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all. Yeah. But, okay. That'd be a good way to preset. <laughs> Before we jump, I just want to say our first 25. Who giveth food for, to all flesh. Okay, for his mercy and food for all flesh. I keep that food thought in your mind. In all flesh, it's not just us. What, what is the food? And it's given to all people, not just us. Right. Which is the same way into the next. Right. So that's why I thought this really. Well, was. and and. This, this 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 could blow up a little bit of our Missouri Synod stance on communion. It's good. I watched a podcast, and so far, just in that one little podcast, we've only talked about four things that they were discussing. Yeah. If in baptism, believe it or not. Yeah. And and all of the things that they talk about is like has already been talked about this morning. Yeah. You just don't know, you know, how is God working? Right. 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 So we turn and, and and again the reason why I bring up the Holy Communion thing because yes, this is a physical eating, but you can't you cannot not see Holy Communion in this text. So that's why I was pointing out the yeah. verse. You, 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 and you got to be careful not to spiritualize it because it is a physical eating. It is a physical eating. Don't spiritualize it, but you can't help making that move because of the words. Right. Because of the words. And 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 I like the the selection that you picked that you did this one before the Isaiah one because the Isaiah one includes right. th this this is really communion. The uh, the Isaiah one includes much more than much communion. More, right. So uh, I guess I'm reading. I guess you are. I guess Which I'm reading. We're Matthew Matthew 14, 13 to 21. That's why you chose the psalm, because you wanted this short Isaiah passage. No, I chose it because I think you wouldn't read the King James Version. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm told to read ESV from now on. Are you guys ready? Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Matthew Ma Matthew 14. Now, when Jesus heard this, and yeah, I'll jump in there. That's John he, the he just heard that John the Baptist was beheaded. Right. right. Okay. Exactly. So just want to make that known. Now, when Jesus heard this, he withdrew from there in a boat to a desolate place by himself. But, the when, but when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd. And he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Now, when it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, this is a desolate place. And the day is now over. Send the crowds away to go into the villages and buy food for themselves. But Jesus said, they need not go away. You give them something to eat. They said to him, we have only five loaves here and two fish. And he said, bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass and taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing. Then he broke the loaves 
and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. And they all ate and were satisfied. And they took up 12 baskets full of the broken pieces left over. And those who ate were about 5,000 men besides women and children. You, you, you see what I was doing with reading it? Well, I saw it. Okay. Now, just just want to make sure. mention that this event is recorded in all four Gospels. Yep. And all four Gospels contain this event. Did you know that before the video? Yes. Actually, I didn't I catch it the video. video. I, oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. We studied it. Huh? Yes. Oh, you just studied it? Okay, okay, okay. But what I what was one of the readings I was on, and, and yeah, I mentioned it recording, but uh, or video, uh, but yeah, it, it's all. It, and the location here is uh, northeast shore of Bethsaida, and that comes up in the Luke reading of this event. Okay, it defines where it's at. So and it says that he crossed the Sea of Galilee to go here. So. You know, these people that are following on land, they're going around. Now, a sea of Galilee is not a sea, it's a lake, a large lake. But they're going around. I mean, it's not a short jaunt, it's quite the walk. So, yeah. yeah, but the, the, Jesus is going on boat across. They're trying to catch up with them. So, yeah. They're, they're booking. Yeah, they are. They're booking. They are. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's not a small crowd. No. I mean, it's, oh, it's, 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 <laughs> well, 5,000 men, including women and children, you, you're, you're pushing probably 20,000. Yeah, what did I say in the video? Uh, yeah, you know. Well, he asked four or five kids. Right, he asked the one pastor, uh, Paul. How many children? Cook. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he said, how many do you have? Five. Yeah, exactly. So come on, well, kids. And, and, come on, kids. Let's and, you, and you know, that's, that was typical in the Jewish family because, you well, know, the kids had to do work. Right. work. Right. right. So, you know, you've got that going on. You know, Jesus is, 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 is going off to a quiet place, you know, to be by himself. And, of course, that worked real well for him. You know, I mean, you know. It, it, well, and then he sees the crowd, and what happens? Oh no, they're here, they found me. No. No. He has compassion. <coughs> and I have a note in my Bible with that word compassion circle with the reference to Psalm 136. They say it's a best love. See? The, the, yeah. Greek, the Greek word basically is compassion comes from your gut, it comes from your most inner being. Mm -hmm. So it's a deep. Right deep felt longing for the people. Um, and again, it's inter interesting that they mention desolate place. Usually when we think desolate place, we think of desert, but where does he tell them to sit down? On the grass. It's a desolate place out by itself. Right, and, and, and there might have been some dry area, but but uh, again, as, a, as and this came from the video, this isn't my thank you, but, but as a good shepherd does, he finds the place where they need to, Psalm 23. Right. To lay down. To lay down. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Now, I, I'm gonna go off and, and take a little question. You're gonna go in the weeds? No, I'm gonna take okay. a little question here. And kind of food for thought here. Okay. Verse 14. Food for thought. Nice. nice. I like that one. Dude. Nice. When he saw the great crowd, he had compassion on them, and he healed their sick. Yeah. Now. How many were Gentiles? Were there any Gentiles? We, well, we don't know. We don't know. But if we go to other scripture and let scripture define scripture, we see the woman coming to Jesus, asking to be healed, and he says, you know, I'm here for the nation of Israel. Right. And she says, but even the dogs get the scraps. Right. So we don't know, but th these are people following Jesus, do we want to assume in our mind that it was only the Jews that followed Jesus? Was, you know. Well, and, 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 and I think to add proof to your point is, were all the people following Jesus believers? No, they were looking for food and healing. 
They didn't know what the kingdom of heaven was. Well, and, and, and notice what doesn't happen in this. And I, I, I didn't compare it to the other versions of the story is he, he does, typically when, when, when he has a crowd like that, you usually hear about him teaching. teaching. There's no teaching going on. Not in this, not in this uh, Matthew, it doesn't say that. No, there's no teaching. He, he's, he's healing them. There's no teaching going on. He healed their sick. And, and it doesn't define that as a complete healing. It's just healing their sick. So that's physical. You know. Yeah. So yeah, you've got that. Well, and and and, and then you then you get the disciples being practical. Right. You know, again, when we do ministry, we have to be practical and uh, the practicality of a, of a congregation with 90 people and they've got 20,000 people coming on board. We can't feed these folk. Well, the, one of the commentaries when I was reading it, uh, matter of fact, uh, well, it matter. Uh, one of the commentaries said that the food that they had, the loaves and the fish, wasn't even enough for them, the 12. Oh, right. Right. It was, it, 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 was, it wasn't, you know, the loaves are, are not loaves. Right. They're little loaves. So, you know. Notice notice the little boy is not in this version. No, yeah. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you know. no, notice, it? huh? Which one has I think Luke. I think Luke. Uh, but but again, it, it, and, and, and the notes I put down in here is when Jesus first responds them, Response to them. They need not go away. You give them something. You to give eat. them something to eat. That is that he's telling them to do the impossible. Yeah, he is. And, but then they come back and go, "Well, we only have five loaves here and two fish." They're basically saying, "No, this isn't impossible. This is truly impossible." impossible. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, you don't get this. You're asking us to do not only the impossible, but what is truly impossible. You're asking us to do. It's kind of like an eye opener. For them, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, they, they 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 took the blinders off, took a peek, and put the blinders back on. <laughs> yeah, they forgot. They forgot a couple of chapters. No, they, they yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're still like, oh. well, and, and and again, and this is why we it's a it's a it's a physical eating, but why we connect communion to it is because of the the verbs. The verb, yeah. Because these are the same verbs. That are used in the Lord's Supper right. on Monday, Thursday. That take, look, blessed, broke, and gave. But the neat thing is, he handed it over to the disciples and he invited the disciples into the ministry. Right. In other words, I'm telling you, feed the crowds. Well, no, we can't do that. Now I'm telling you again. Feed the, the crowds. Right. right. You've been called to a job. This is your job. This is what you're and, doing. Oh, yeah. By the third time, it's like, okay, here's the food. Feed the crowds. Right. <laughs> uh, and yeah. he kind of puts it in your face. If you catch on verse 20. All were satisfied. They took up 12 baskets full of broken pieces. One for each disciple to look. Right. <laughs> right. Well, in your face. Here's, well, here's a full basket. Well, and, and, and again, if I would treat this in a sermon, that that would be my connection into the um, our sanctified living is the church today now has the food of Christ. Right. You know, be, because again, the, the 12 is representative of the church. Both Old Testament, Israel, 12 tribes, right. New Testament, 12 disciples, apostles. Um, we, we get that picture in Revelation of, of all the 12s in there. That's representative of the church. And so the 12 basket full is representative. We've got Christ's food to deliver today. Right. And oh yeah, and, then, and this is where we have to be mindful, and, and it does come up in in the Isaiah passage when I when I preach it on Sunday is it's about God's abundance. You know, this is this is that uh, mercy, that steadfast love is God's love is is never wavering. It's always it's abundant. Always, it's it's always, always more than enough. It's yeah. a, you know, always more than enough. 
Uh, and, and, and the other thought that came into my mind is, again, make the comparison to what God did for the children of Israel in the desert. He fed them. Right, right. I, I mean, we've got to hear the man the man the 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 man the story in this. But what I found intriguing with the man story is, it was just enough. It was just enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, take what you need. It don't, was just enough. Don't take any more because if you do, it's just going to rot. And and now and now we're seeing for his church today, he's super abundant. Is here's the food. Go 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 and go and take it. Go and take it. Uh, yeah yeah. Yeah, all eight and were satisfied, and there were still 12 basketfuls left over. Right. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. There's no question here. It's not, well, gee, maybe, maybe, maybe they just had crumbs and got full. Or, no, 12 baskets full of, and they ate, and what did you start with? Not even on one basket full. So, I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. It, it's clearly a miracle. Well, and, and satisfaction doesn't necessarily mean that your gut ha- your gut has to be filled. No, but they weren't for want. Right. They and had enough. Can Can you imagine the taste of that food? That'd be good. <laughs> Lisa, you do a great job. But you know what? I don't like fish, but I think I eat Jesus's fish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's a good question. <laughs> huh? Oh, you don't like fish either? You don't do fish. <laughs> yeah. No, fish sandwich from McDonald's, you'll have. <laughs> I, I will do fish sticks, but that's, that's not really, that's that's not really, really fish. fish. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, uh, you like Miami and you don't eat fish? Uh, I like, like crab and shrimp and stuff like that, but not fish. Anything else? No, Anybody good. else? We, got we good? What have we got? Oh, um, right. We got time. We got time. 12 minutes. All right. Isaiah chapter 51. 55. I'm sorry. 55 what chapter I, 1. Or chapter what? 55. <laughs> okay. What is it? Isaiah 55. Yes. Chapter 55. Oh, verses 1 to 5. Yeah. <laughs> or, or you want to switch it up again? <laughs> Make, make, oh, you're killing me! Now, now, now. See, th- this is this is where you're going to miss the first word because very few. I had to write it in. Okay, go ahead. Be- because the ESV and, and most translations don't have the first word that's in the Hebrew. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me pull up my Bible app. You have come? Mm-hmm. Now it comes not the first word. Okay. Oh, everyone that there is. Yeah, what, oh. what, what version? Yeah. King, James. King James. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, it says come, everyone. No, 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 no. No, there is an expressive that is there before come. Oh, even before come. There's an expressive before come. Uh, and, and I didn't look back in, I, again, no. I don't know the Hebrew, so I don't know. I don't Alas. Know. Well. Whoa. Yeah, it, it, it's a term, ho, in other words, hey, listen up. But he, but he does include that in the, so it does get repeated in there. But, but I'm, I'm using that. I'm using that. Hum. I'm using, when I, when I, when I make the turn on the gospel, I'm going to use the hoe on the main, uh, when I turn to the gospel on Sunday. And 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 I and I think my song title might be by the Lumineers. Oh hey, because that's that's really what. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's it's a curve. Moving so. on. <laughs> come, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And he who has no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which is not which does not satisfy? Listen diligently to me and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. And find your ear and come to me. Hear that your soul may live, and I will, and I will make you 
an everlasting covenant, my steadfast and sure love for David. Behold, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. Behold, you shall call a nation that you do not know, and a nation that did not know you shall run to you. Because of the Lord your, of your God and the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Hmm. Did you did you see the three gifts of God in this? And that's why I said I, I was glad you did the Matthew one, chose that one first because that had one of the gifts. Right. This has all three gifts. Uh, you've got you've got the food. You've got the right. The food. The food would be Lord's Supper. All right. Uh, it's, especially he, he he mentions wine. Well, yeah. Yeah, he mentions wine. Thirst. Okay. Buy wine and milk. So, so that okay. so so we got Holy Communion. We got two other gifts. What are the other two gifts? Well, you have an everlasting covenant, so I don't know if you're referring to that as a No, gift. no. Think of think but, of the but eat, what, what are the three gifts we get in, in worship? Word and sacrament. Word and two sacraments. Okay. Okay. So you, you picked out Holy Communion. Right. Where, where's baptism in this? Come to the waters. Come to the waters. Where where's the word in this? Verse okay, rich food. Verse two and a half. Yeah, two two and a, two B and three. Listen diligently and incline your ear. The, the rich so, so so you 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 got word and sacrament word and going going on in here. Yeah. And that's why I said I like the order that you put them in because that one was specifically on Lord's Supper. This yeah. this one includes here's all the gifts. Yeah. Here's all the gifts, and it, it goes back to his. He's steadfast love, you know, right. and, and he does it in abundance. He does it in abundance. Right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, and going back right into the first verse here is, you know, come, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's like going through the marketplace mm -hmm. back in the, in the times of, of the nation of Israel. Come over here, come over here, come. See what I got. That's why I think the hoe needs to be in there. Yeah. Hey, oh, ho, oh, oh. <laughs> you know. If you ever if you've ever gone into some of those marketplaces where yeah, they're trying to catch your attention, so they're gonna yell at you. Ho oh. well, when I was over in Europe, uh -huh. we call them the Hey Joe stands. The Hey Joe stands. Yeah, because you're gonna buy Hey Joe, Hey Joe. <laughs> But yeah, I mean that was because everybody was Joe. Right, 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 right. And I think that's I, yeah, I think that's why it's critical to have that hole in there. Right. I'm yeah. curious, is the, I'm looking at Strong's reporters. Why why Well that's the point, isn't it, right? Everyone who thirst. Everyone thirst. It's not everyone who thirst. I mean it's that's the word. But everyone does thirst. <laughs> so where do we look? Right. Okay. So where right. do we look? I mean, right. We 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 look for the pond scum. Right. And we got <laughs> we got to do it ourselves. We 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 can't just accept something. Jesus did it all. We don't have to do a thing. No, I've got to do something. Right. Yeah. I've got to do something. I. Which which is the irony in this passage? Come by without. <laughs> Without money and without price. <laughs> yeah, how, how, why am I? Well, it's already paid for. So it's yours. He's done it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Well, and, 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 and again, as I've said before, you know, what is it that catch, caught my attention for this, from this text for this sermon? And it was verse two. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread? And your labor for that which does not satisfy. Oh, yeah. I, I guess I could have I could have chosen looking for love in all the wrong places. Well, yeah, that would fit fitting. That would that that would fit. Be that would fit actually. Right. Right. Huh? That's kind of common. I bet you use that. No, I haven't used it. No. I almost used it a couple months ago. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. you know, money for not bread. In other words, but not. Is bread here a physical loaf of bread? You gave me a servant title. I might use that one. Money for nothing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, oh. what is the bread? Right? <laughs> That's great. That's great. 
You better write it down. You're freaking. No, he won't. He's still back. <laughs> well, he'll watch the video. <laughs> I'll call one of you guys up. <laughs> I mean, Suzanne, uh, Louise is making a note. <laughs> yeah, <you probably laughs> Luann, I'm sure you wrote that down. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, bread, right? Is it is it is it physical? Is it sustenance for the flesh, or is it sustenance for our spirit, for our soul? Yes. I mean, yes. and yes, exactly, <laughs> right? That's what a pastor's, you know, yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's not the yes well, or no. But, but does that go to the Matthew? M Matthew, I, said, I made it sure that we said mm -hmm. this yeah. is about a physical right. eating, mm -hmm. but we have to connect it to the spiritual eating. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Listen diligently to me. There's the word. There's the word. Right. Right. So, you know. Well, and, and, and it's three times. Hey, there's your three. Listen diligent to me, incline your ear, and hear. Oh. Right. There's your three. He repeats it three times. It's okay if you don't get it the first two times. I'm telling you the third time. Here, <laughs> get it right. And oh, by the way, did you notice that steadfast your love pops up in here too? Yes, I saw. Okay, okay. And 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 and, and again, verse five is is the sending out. You know, um, okay, again. There are too many who come and receive the gifts of God and are satisfied, and that's where it stops. Well, they feel good. They've got a full tummy. They're ready to go. Right. And, and, just... and, and, and the reality of it is, as, as I've preached before, is that there are people out there going to hell. And the only way, the only way they can know about Jesus is by the people that he placed has placed here. It's the disciples getting the... the well, let's go back to the 5,000. What did they come to him for? Fill up their tummy? Right. But, but, the, but, the, the, sick. but the sense is, is who delivered the gifts to them? The disciples. Right. And, and that's, the, that's, yes. the, that's the thing in our world. We've received the gifts... Who is, who is it up to to deliver those gifts to those who need it? Yeah, and that's verse, verse 5. Behold, you shall call a nation that you do not know, and a nation that did not know you shall run to you. you know, the Lord. And again, that's, that's the Gentiles, as, as we know, is being right. pointed out here. But, but again, for us to hear those words is realize God is going to send us to places with people we don't know and they don't know us but that's why again going back several weeks ago why we need to cast the seed well i mean that's that's the lord we're talking about the lord there clearly but we are his messengers right so that's we're oh well go ye therefore make disciples of all nations that's at matthew somewhere 28 <laughs> and, and, and oh yeah, by the way, as I said last Sunday about uh, declaring the wonderful deeds of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. There you go. That's what it's about. Yeah. Uh, it's, yes, it's about us receiving that sustenance, sustenance that we need. And I've got that word in the sermon. That's going to be interesting to say sustenance. Well, we and that, that, <laughs> just laugh it off if you, if you don't say it right. Try it in and then move on. <laughs> Faith or face? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, uh, again, uh, what a delightful passage this is. And, and, and really the, the sense of the, the law in this one is we, we, go, we go searching for our sustenance in other places other than where we need to find our sustenance. And, oh, yeah, by the way, when he gives us sustenance, he gives it abundantly. Yeah. Twelve basketfuls left over. I had a couple of verses here that, when I was going through this, I related. One was a, a couple of them out of John. On the last day of the feast, a great day, Jesus stood up and cried out, "If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink." Mm -hmm. you know? And I think that that's not this passage, but I think it comes from another Isaiah passage and that is re that that references and to. And in chapter six of John, it says. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, mm -hmm. and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Yep. Come, ho, ho, ho! So, 
Yeah. And just, yeah. Listen diligently and find your ears. There you go. Should we? <laughs> or we shall. <laughs> we better. We better. <laughs> we good? We're good. All right. Close us. Father, again, we give you thanks for this great day that you have provided for us in this place, in this time, in your word. So, Lord, as we go forth, let us incline our ears and our eyes our mouth, to do your will as you have put us in different circumstances and in different places with different people. Show us what we are to say, what we are to do, and how we are to be your messengers in this world. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.